As Pride Month comes to a close, we wanted to highlight the work of one of New York's very own, transgender advocate, author, and chair of the Human Rights Campaign Foundation Board, which is the country's largest LGBTQ organization, Jody Patterson. Good morning, Jody, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me on Monday. On a Monday, right? You say this is the hump day because we, we, we never work, never not work. Um, yeah, so, not as a mother. No, not as a mom. Jody, I know that advocacy courses through your veins. You come from a long line of civil advocates, so it should come as no surprise that you would stand up on behalf of your transgender son, and you chronicled your family's journey in your first book, The Bold World, A Memoir of Family and Transformation. That was not necessarily about your son's journey, but more about your journey as a mother. So what were the biggest lessons for you as a parent? Because I know you faced some criticism early on. I did, and we did as a family, and my son did, being who he is um, naturally. And you said that I come from a long line of activists, and I'm glad that you noted that, because many of us understand change and acceptance and even revolution in some forms, mm -hmm. but we don't necessarily think about it in terms of gender identity. I, my grandmother was a civil rights activist. Uh, my uncle is Gil Scott Heron, who wrote The Revolution Will Not Be Televised. Mm -hmm. And so this sort of radical um, change is not foreign to me. But when my child said, Mama, I'm not a girl, I'm a boy, it totally rocked me. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand the language. I didn't understand what it meant. However, I did think that it was something to be scared of and something to be concerned about because that was 10 years ago, and that was what the media was telling us. Right. We didn't have Pose. We didn't have right. Janet Ma. Right. 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 But you know, what I learned is that we have to be mentally flexible, particularly as parents. Each generation is going to redefine. And so if we can wrap our head around things through mental flexibility, mm -hmm. some of these hurdles will be much easier on, on the mom and the family and the child. It is, um, it is a new way of looking at it for me but it has become a much more inclusive way that has kept our very um, diverse family together. Right. We've never fallen apart over this. I love that. And it all starts from the home, right? And it's one thing to address these challenges in your home, as you mentioned. Uh, but then your son Penelope goes out into the real world, right? The world outside of the comforts of your home. So what were some of the challenges uh, mm -hmm. for school? Because, you know, it's easy, I think, as New Yorkers, to live in our bubble of New York, which can feel right. so inclusive. But there are, you know, 49 other states where that is not necessarily the case. And so- And what I realized, yeah, is that when you travel to different places, you are um, even more in danger or less in danger, depending your civil rights, your human rights um, shift from where you live, from place to place. And that obviously is, um, is not fair and it is not right. I think the most challenging aspect of it was I had to protect Penelope every step of the way. I had mm -hmm. to be always in front of him. I had mm -hmm. to always exert myself. I had to make sure that the people around us didn't want to harm him. Because as we know, there's 250 plus anti-LGBT bills, right. 100 plus anti-trans bills. Right. It's not just about the bathroom. Or right, the, which, which, which the Supreme Court just decided 25 minutes ago that they would not take up the issue. Of, of the transgender bathroom. And so to that point, what are some key steps that we can all do to become better allies to the transgender community? First, we have to get to know each other. Many of us are making laws and passing bills and making assumptions based on trans people we've never met, right? Mm -hmm. So if your Facebook friends look just like you, <laughs> you really have to expand that right. and get to know the LGBT community, get to know trans people in particular, one, right? Close proximity to people who are different is key. And the next thing is if you're in a position of power, hire trans identified individuals, teachers, um, CEOs, board members, we have to see trans uh, reality in real life, not mm -hmm. from just television shows. Right. So hire trans people. Right. The other thing is practice. You know, a lot of people say the pronouns are so hard. <laughs> Remembering how to address someone is hard. Practice in the mirror. Right. I did it for years. Oh, wow. I stood in front of the mirror and I practiced. He, Penelope, he. Yeah. Practicing how my son wanted me to address him. Change is difficult, but we have to practice it. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you 100%. So your, your current book, Born Ready, The True Story of a Boy Named Penelope, as we just mentioned, geared towards children, uh, a different step from your first book. I can imagine why you made that your focus, but what, what is Penelope's reaction to this book? How does he take that into his everyday life? 
he <laughs> it's a bit of both worlds right <laughs> he, he and his brothers and his sister are proud of the book we've written it together it's their voices their triumphant story it's not sad at all um so they're very proud of it Penelope has asked sometimes, Ma, can you just not come into my classroom and talk? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like as a kid, when all eyes are on you, the question becomes why? Right. Why is everyone watching me? Why is everyone debating me? And I tell him, you're more than the laws, baby, right? Mm -hmm. You're more than these laws make you out to be. And I try to let him just be a kid. Right. So that's one of the reasons why I do so much talking and so much lobbying and so much fighting to push for diversity, particularly with black trans children. And I'm sure Penelope is, is observing you quite closely because one day that voice will be his own. Jody Patterson, thank you so much for taking time thank with you us so this much. morning. And help us navigate through the, all of this. And both of Jody's books, by the way, The Bold World and Born Ready, are available wherever books are sold. Thank you That's so awesome. much. Mm -hmm.